You've successfully installed a bot. Now what? Here are three easy ways to get started with Abe. Start a direct message conversation with Abe. Come in here and just type in Abe and you'll find him. You can see I asked Abe to create award-winning photography of a close-up of a tree frog, but I use Abe to do just about anything that I would use ChatGPT for, including providing summaries of long emails that I get from my children's school district. The nice thing about a direct message with Abe is that you don't need to at him in order for him to respond. You can just chat with him like you would chat with anybody else. The little eyes emoji tells you that it's listening and it'll give you a response. Pro tip to make Abe easily accessible, right click on your conversation with Abe and move Abe to one of your lists. For me, I use priority that puts him at the top so that he's always accessible. The second way you can get started with Abe is to add him to a channel. So go into your channels list and find some channel you'd like to add him to. Once you're in that channel, you're going to click on the channel and go to integrations. Under integrations, apps, add app and hit add. Bang, that will introduce Abe to the channel. The third way that you can get started with Abe is to add him into group chats with others. So maybe I want to work with Paul, Wes, and Abe. I'll say, Abe, introduce yourself. Notice that whenever you call on Abe in any sort of channel or group discussion, Abe is going to reply in a thread so it keeps your chats nice and clean. Boom, that's it. You've installed Abe and now you know three ways to get started with ChatGPT inside of Slack. Have fun, good luck, enjoy.